Good morning, guys. What is going on? Uh, welcome back to a new day. So uh, we got, oh, if I, if I can shift this thing, we got some more work to do on the shop today. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. You guys will see it. It's kind of a big surprise, and it's definitely uh, put me at broke. Like, I, like, I've been saying I'm broke lately, but I've had, like, a good comfort cushion that I've been falling back on getting stuff as I need it type thing because I've been saving up for all of this to happen for months now. Um, but yeah, this is literally taking the last of my money, so I am a very stressed, sad panda. But we are in the Starbucks drive-thru right now, ironically because I'm out of coffee at home and I just didn't have time because I get it, get down to the shop. But yeah, welcome to today. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Good morning. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. My name is Mariah. What can I get started for you? Good morning. Can I just do like a, a grande uh, vanilla sweet cream cold brew? A grande salted cream cold brew? Uh, vanilla sweet cream. Vanilla sweet cream, you got it. Anything else for you? No, thank you. I don't know if there's like a uh, distilled water shortage or something, but I've been kind of keeping my eye out just for the heck of it for a minute now. And every time now that I'm actually looking for it, it's not there. Like I, right now I just need a gallon because I got some, um, what did I get? Oh, I got some coolant finally for my bandsaw to help, you know, make it last longer and give it lubricant while I'm cutting. And you have to dilute it with distilled water so you know it doesn't rust and uh, nobody has any right now so yeah whatever I'm heading to the shop uh, okay here we go so got my wheels drilled out so hopefully they fit the bandsaw now stole my girlfriend's donuts that she left on the counter and I think I got some bolts that should bolt this thing to this thing so yeah cool I also brought my banners down. I got a Max Peating Rods one. Um, say what you will, they sent it to me. So obviously they do support the channel. So I am going to hang that up because also the walls are very barren. So got that one. And you know your boy JB Tune, he's always a good dude. I've had this banner hanging up in the background on the porch for a long time now. It's all sun faded. It used to be that color. Yeah, so in the meantime, um, it's only 10 o'clock. So uh, I got about another hour to hour and a half until the lift guys show up. So that's gonna give me some time to try and get the wheels hopefully onto the saw and then bolt up the drill press and then other than that once the lift gets here. Oh dang, I, I just spoiled the Damn it, I spoiled the surprise. Alright, whatever. Yeah, so I am getting a lift. I've like I said in the last video, the introduction of getting the shop, the review the shop reveal, whatever. I've been working so hard for this and a lot of you guys know that. A lot of you regular viewers of the channel. So I mean it is taking the last of my savings. Like I had a good uh, cushion to fall back on before getting into this place and then with paying the first month shop rent with getting the tool cart with getting the stuff from the auction and now mostly oh then all my bills just came up because you know it's the start of the month and now this lift um, yeah this has definitely put me up broke so oh, it's tough but you know take a leap of faith right have some faith all right, so the wheels aren't going to fit. I'm going to have to modify the shaft or trim down the center of the wheels a little bit because they're kind of wide. Um, I don't really have time for that right now. So I got it because the wheel's kind of resting on there, the new one and the old one. And I'll just roll it around. It, well, it's out of the way now. Um, let me try and bolt that up real quick. It keeps making the shop look bigger, but yeah. like, I don't know. I think once you get cars in here, it's gonna be like, holy shit, like, like pretty dope. Look <laughs> at this boy smile. All right, lift guys just left, just had some lunch. And uh, yeah, dude, we, we're really out here doing it. We really doing it. I just, ah, I'm so stoked. For the first time in a long time, I am just so genuinely stoked. Like, I'm not even financing this. Like, yeah, it's a used lift, but I own this. Like, I just paid cash for it, and it's mine. It's mine. Thank you guys so much. So, it still needs to be wired up. Uh, my buddy's gonna come wire it in for me. Either him or my girlfriend's dad, basically whoever can do it sooner. <sighs> it's in, so. 
Yeah, um, I got some errands that I gotta run, so I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home, watch my niece for a little bit, for my brother, um, and then I got a car to start working on at the house, so I may show some of that. I'm trying to get that car knocked out, though. So we'll see. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys uh, in the next clip. All right, so some of you guys may remember this Civic. This is one that I did like the intercooler mounts on. I think I modified some of the charge piping, built like a little crash bar for it, modified or fixed the downpipe and stuff. I can't remember. So now we're basically just kind of wrapping this thing up. The guy just works a lot, doesn't have time to button it up. So I got to do like chase a water leak on the back. I got to hook up the fuel line that he made because uh, his old line was like damaged. Uh, you know, hook up the boost gauge. Um, do the little clutch pedal bypass or fix the little pin that's down there on the clutch pedal you know just all the little tiny stuff so it's just yeah it's literally like 113 right now it is stupid hot i've been on here for 10 minutes just pushing this thing because it feels like the brakes are dragging i'm already pissed it's just too hot to be out here doing this crap so i'm not even gonna film it i'm just gonna get it done and show you guys when it's all done all right so civic is pretty much done like I said, I wasn't really filming that. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for is to change the oil pressure sensor, but I needed to get it out of the driveway because today is now Monday, June 13th, which is the final, hopefully, dyno session of the Integra for a good long while. So changes that were made were boost leaks fixed, straight piped instead of the fat muffler that I had that was supposed to be restrictive, according to a lot of people. So yeah, you know, I'm not really sure. I'm just hoping for 300 at this point, but it is also already 93 degrees out and only getting hotter. So it is currently like 9, 15 in the morning so hopefully we can get this thing loaded right up on the dyno and get it going before it gets over 100 but yeah and then i gotta go to work after that so kind of kind of sad but whatever let's go see if this thing does any better all right so the car thankfully made it just fine i was super concerned about heat soaking like overheating on the way here so i think my cooling plates doing a pretty good job um, cause right now it is currently, my watch says 97, but I don't know, somewhere around a hundred. Yeah. So it's about 97 degrees. So, uh, Lord knows what my IATs are right now. I mean, shoot, you get some of you guys notice that my, uh, inner, my charge pipe that goes to the throttle body is like right next to my radiator and like the heat tape, the gold tape helps a little bit, but obviously the radiate does its job of radiating. Um, but there's, I, I don't know, I don't really think a heat shield will do much there because it'll just absorb the heat and then pass it right onto the, the charge pipe. But yeah, it made it nonetheless, so we're all right. Now let's, uh, I guess just load her up and see what happens. Just finished up, car runs better now. So there was a weird, I think I mentioned issue on the freeway driving, like partial throttle inputs. Um, turns out my knock sensor was just wigging out. Um, I think I may have slightly damaged it or something when I was, you know, building everything. And then as for the falling on its face, there was like when you're taking off from a stop or something, there was a little bit of a lean spot. I don't know why it looks so white right now. Maybe it's just the lighting because where I have the camera, but. Um, yeah, so there's a lean spot, so we got that cleaned up, and then it did make a little bit more power, made about 20 more horsepower, so it peaked at like 276-ish, um, and that was on 11 pounds, so I know, keep the comments coming, you know, I know it should be making more, I just don't know why it's not. I mean, it is over 100 degrees out, so I know ambient air temperature has parts of playing it, I know I could use a bigger intercooler, and I obviously know the main reason being my manifold, but like you guys said, I mean, Booster Boys, a whole bunch of other people have made 400 on log manifolds, so 
I don't really know what to do. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it for a while because the car um, ideally should be better, should make a little bit more power um, and raise the limiter a little bit so a little bit more efficient on the top end. But I mean, I'm just gonna run with it for a while. I can't afford to keep throwing money into the car, especially now just getting into the shop. So uh, we're just gonna sit and it's not like I'm gonna hardly drive the car for the next like four months because summer's here anyway. So a few poles here and there maybe in the evenings, but yeah, um, eventually I would like to have a remote tuner like somebody like Horsepower Logic or PFI, Brent, somebody look at my tune and be like, hey, you know, this is what I would change here because this should peak some, get some more power here type thing. I'm obviously going to change intercoolers too because I just, I, like I said, I had what I had laying around, used it, but it is what it is. I'm just glad it's at least cleaned up from the previous tune and the boost leaks. Like that's all taken care of. It's all fixed now. So now it's just worrying about later on making more powers I can throw money at it. But uh, we're on the way to the auction house now because I bought something else for the shop. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna go do that. All right, got the car to the shop. Probably gonna leave the car at the shop for a few days just because it's super hot out and it's rush hour time. So I don't feel like hanging out all night because I'm just here to put this. Oh, you know what? I forgot the stupid thumbtacks again. Where? In the S because I thought I was gonna bring the S. So yeah, well so much for hanging the shop banners today. But yeah, so this is what we're uh, setting up. Okay, so this is what I picked up at the auction. Just another storage thing with some cabinet space, you know. It was just, it was like 56 bucks is what I ended up paying for it after the fees. It was like 70 tax in the auction fee. So 200 something dollar cabinet, got it for 56 bucks, really not mad. And then Integra is just gonna chill here for a few days, like I said, just cause it's too dang hot out right now to be sitting in traffic to drive it home. It's heat soaking really bad because, you know, no vents and it's 108 degrees right now, according to my watch. So it's what it is. In the meantime, just gonna put the feet on that thing and find a spot to put it. And yeah, probably just hang out for a little bit. All right, I got the banners up. So Max Peter Rod's banner there. Again, you guys can talk the dude you want, but you know what, they support the channel. So at least it looks cool in here. And then, of course, we got the JB Tune banner over there. Plenty sun painted, but that thing's held up really well. So, just like his products, his banners are just as top quality. That thing's been sitting in the sun for like four years. So, yeah, you know, pretty much all that's left is once this lift is wired up, uh, we're good. And then, obviously, get my toolbox down here. Hopefully, this week, uh, I got that Civic pretty much done. So, like I mentioned before, I'm just go home, slap that fuel pressure or oil pressure gauge on. And we should be able to wrap that thing up and then I gotta borrow, thankfully my neighbor has a uh, forklift. Um, so I can at least get help loading my toolbox on the truck. And then I'll have to just get some manpower down here because I don't have a forklift down here. I don't know, we'll figure it out though. But yeah, it's looking much, much more complete, like a real shop. And again, I'm, I'm just too stoked on this. Jumping forward from that last clip a few days ago, um, we are now middle of the week, the next week, I don't remember when that last clip was, we were doing the banners and stuff, but um, so today I just, you saw me load up the uh, toolbox, that's what you guys are riding on, hope you had fun, and then we got some stuff. So basically, 
thankfully my neighbor was very gracious enough, I didn't even know I had a neighbor with a forklift that I did, so he, he let me use the forklift to um, load the toolbox, and then thankfully down here at the shop, uh, Ramon met us down here, and then Javi and his little brother were next door working, so they were able to help uh, unload it, because uh, it's heavy. So the other issue that I'm running into now is I got a quote from one of my buddies to do uh, the wiring on the lift, but the wiring, he wanted 800 in labor and then material, and then he wanted to rent like a scissor lift type thing, and that's like 1,500 bucks total that I just do not have right now, because like when I say I spent all my money moving in here, I really meant it, so we're doing it. The DIY budget way, thankfully my girlfriend's dad knows how to wire up this type of stuff, so that's what he's doing. And in the meantime, my other neighbor actually had uh, some scaffolding, so he's letting us borrow the scaffolding. But then um, we also just put this roof bed rack thing in the truck, and uh, realized we got the plywood up there and the ramps, and it's actually a little taller than the scaffolding is. So the idea was to use the scaffolding and then use the ladder to try and get the conduit up there from the top of the lift all the way up there. But since the truck fits, assuming we can back the truck up close enough to get up there, I think we should be okay. But yeah, now that the toolbox is down here, once it's lift, wired up and good to go, we're ready to rock and roll. So yeah, I'm gonna be here pretty much all day trying to get this stuff sorted out, get the conduit ran, um, get the wiring stuff. And uh, yeah, really, really hoping to have this fully functioning by the end of the week. Get the lift in and then come back down probably tomorrow, bring my material bins. Yeah, but. Yeah, progress. Progress is progress. All right, back out here this evening. Now we're gonna do some stuff that OSHA won't be proud of. So instead of doing the scaffolding and putting the ladder on there, because I know that's kind of safe-ish, but now instead we got a bigger, taller truck because the ceilings are a little bit taller than I guesstimated this morning. So we're gonna put a stool on top of the rickety truck and we're gonna try and get this stuff up there. So yeah, just waiting for my, dad, uh, my girlfriend's dad to show up. And then uh, yeah, I just watched a bunch of videos on how to bend conduit and run this crap. So. Pretty excited to get this done. So I didn't film any of the wiring part last night because it's been a huge pain in the butt. Mostly because not having the proper tools to fish the wires to the conduit. But we got all the conduit ran, so you guys can't really tell which is which, so I'm not gonna bother explaining it. But basically we're coming up off the lift here and then it shoots over. We found an empty conduit pipe on the ceiling that is empty, so it goes right to the fuse box. So that may have been in the past where the old lift was. Whoever had it at this at some point. Uh, but this morning I went down to Home Depot for like the 15th time and got one of those little fishing reel things, the steel fishing reel. So with enough with enough muscle and motivation, we got it through all up there. So now we're just trying to get this last bit of wire up here to that junction box. It's above the lift. And then we're done. And then I just gotta wait till tomorrow, which is Friday, for my girlfriend's dad to be able to come down and wire it, because he was helping last night for a few hours, but he works today and uh, tomorrow morning. So, it's at least getting done, though. All right, got the last of the wire ran, so now it's good for us to come back tomorrow and just, you know, actually hook it up. But it's all ran, so that's good. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go just try and enjoy a day off, quote unquote, per se. Um, because, I mean, I got this manifold that I can start on, but this is just a weld repair. So I'll just finish this after I get everything else situated because <coughs> I don't want to have to bring my welder, move all, do all that stuff to bring it over here to, you know, then push it all back. Um, so yeah, we'll just finish this up tomorrow or Saturday, either or. Gosh, it has been one heck of a week trying to get this stuff done. So uh, lift should be getting wired up here momentarily. Her uh, girlfriend's dad is on the way to finish that since I got the line ran. So in the meantime, I am trying to organize, got the toolbox here, buy a little floor mat, you know, one of these little cushion squishy thingies. Um, got it Ross for like 10 bucks. So doing that and just trying to get stuff organized and cleaned up a little bit. So that way it's more like we're actually, you know, at home in here. So yeah, um, should, by the end of tonight though, everything should be fully functional and I should be able to start working just like normal. So yeah, it's freaking cooking in here though. Really can't wait for this swamp cooler to get fixed. All right, so it is finally wired up. Let me show you really quick. And she works, and I already tested it with the car on here, um, and it definitely picked it up. And the uh, neutral stop up top, that thing, which I didn't know was a thing, but yeah, if something touches that, it kills the motor, so nothing gets damaged. Yeah, so that works. So this is all finally fully functioning. And I just I am too stoked. This has been such a pain in the butt, stressful week. 
trying to get this all done and now it is finally done and thankfully I've already got workload starting to come in. I think I mentioned this is a manifold already that I'm doing. I got another car uh, coming by right now that's getting dropped off so I can get here in the morning and start working on it. This is actually getting work done by me. Um, yeah, we just, yeah, there's, thankfully there's plenty of work coming in. At the moment I've got, like, if nobody flakes, I've got 10 or 11 jobs on hand. Um, and one of them is my biggest job yet, and ironically enough, it's not even a car. It's doing some stable work at a barn, so just a mobile job, but it's going to be sick. So I'm just stoked. It's uh, Things are finally slowly coming together, and I'm just going to be more thankful. Um, anyways, I don't even know what to do at this point, so I once this car gets dropped off here, we got to go to Doge's house because Doge just gave me a call, and we, me and him always bicker back and forth about which power tools are better. And uh, you know, he's a big fan of Ryobi, and I have nothing against Ryobi. I just personally love Milwaukee and DeWalt stuff. Uh, more expensive taste, I know, but some stuff you kind of need the bigger stuff. And this is one of those cases, because he's got a Ryobi impact gun, and it just ain't doing it. He's trying to get his crank bolt off, because he's trying to do a K20 oil pump swap on his uh, K24EK. So uh, I'm charging up my battery right now, and we're gonna go see if my uh, my big ugga dugga here is gonna break the thing loose like it did last time. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys when we get over to Doge's house. What'd you break already? Well, actually, Ramon broke it. Dewalt to the rescue again. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's fully charged. Go so. take a look at how much concrete's missing out of my garage already. Oh my god. This dude literally dug holes. Fool. Nice wood block. Yeah. I don't know if it was even doing anything anymore. It might have slipped. Alright. You ready? Yeah. Hey, thank <laughs> God, dude. That was gonna be a real upset doge if that didn't work. Oh, oh man. Yeah, you probably slipped. Yeah, I, I kinda figured. <laughs> well thank you, sir. Have yeah. dinner. <sighs> I appreciate that. Yeah, D-Walt coming in clutch again. Yeah, <laughs> beast. Yeah, the beast. Well, I suppose one last look at the uh, the old shop. Shop, shed, shed, yeah, shed. So, I, I mean, you guys that watch the channel regularly know just how much I have accomplished in this tiny little add-on square room to the shed here. And, uh, you know, it's been extremely humbling and I'm just so stoked to be able to move on. And I just, again, just thanks to everybody that's been involved. Thank you to you guys who watch the videos. I wish I could say YouTube pays for the shop, but it's not YouTube. YouTube just helps a little bit. But thank you to those guys that do watch. Thank you especially to the local dudes, the dudes online that buy my parts, the local guys that bring me work. Um, hopefully it's only up from here. You know, sky's the limit type thing. But I, uh, yeah. As much as I did like the shop, I am just very, very thankful to be in a normal shop and I just can't even wait to grow even further to get my own shop instead of sharing one get one bigger you know get some better equipment you know as time goes on so um, really all I have left to get off to get here is like the metal brake that's right beneath you guys right here that I'm playing with and um, yeah you know but that's pretty much it so if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're new to the channel hopefully you've considered subscribing by now um, if you want to help support the channel though guys the best way to do that obviously like comment subscribe all that to the channel and on the videos but i do have merch in the big cartel which is also where you can find my sd fab products such as da front and rear bumper bars i will be making more harness bars soon as well as eg front bumper bars del sol roof braces and you know i'm only going to keep growing things and making more products as i go along but it's hot i need to get inside i've been in this heat all day go get some hydration uh you know gotta keep up with the water out here in the desert but anyways guys do what you love forget about the rest i've learned lately to never stop learning always keep progressing trying to get better learn more knowledge is definitely power and i'm learning that the more i do my own stuff because there is a lot that i'm learning but anyways we'll see you in the next one peace out